Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I am sharing with you today the ultimate Pilates class, and this is in celebration of our Black Friday super sale that is happening this weekend, the 25th of November. If you'd like to be notified of our super sale details, please head to the comment section below where there is a special link in there, which you can click on so that you will be made aware of our Black Friday sale that is happening this weekend. I cannot wait to share more time on the mat with you all. But for now, let's get started. So we're going to begin seated. So make sure you've got the length of the mat behind you. We're going to step the feet together. So the toes are touching, the knees are touching, and we're right on our sit bones here, finding that length through the spine. Extending the arms in front of you, making sure we're softening the shoulders and immediately start to engage the abdominals. Squeeze the knees together so our inner thighs get involved straight away. We're going to C cup. Exhale, chin to the chest. Scoop and hollow the belly as we roll back, only going as far as you feel comfortable to go. And then scoop the belly in as we roll all the way back up. Find that lovely lift. Let's go again, chin to chest. Finding that C curve, the letter C shape through the spine as you scoop the belly in. And then peel your way up, restack, shoulders over hips, head over heart. One more time, keeping those knees together, start to switch on the inner thighs straight away. And then peel yourself all the way up, stack the shoulders over the hips and then reach the arms up. So we stack the wrists over the shoulders too. Palms of the hands turn to face forwards. Exhale as you bend the elbows, pull the elbows out towards the sides in line with the shoulders. Inhale as you reach back up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend the elbows, slide the shoulders away from the ears and inhale, reach and lengthen. Again, but keep finding that space through the spine, really lengthening through to the crown of the head and gluing those knees together as well. One more time here, exhale, squeeze, 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 and then find that length. Reach those arms back in front of you. Now finding the C curve again, this time rowing the right elbow back. So pulling my right elbow back to tap the ground and then reaching, restacking as we come forwards. C curve, left elbow rows back, slides past the rib cage, taps the mat and then reaches forwards as we restack. Scoop and hollow, exhaling as you row, right elbow back. Inhaling as you peel your way up one more time. Exhaling, row the left elbow back and then peel yourself all the way up. Let's find that C curve, tuck under, scoop the belly in. Now slide the feet in towards the bottom, lift your heels. If it's available for you today, lift the legs as well. So I'm finding a little V-sit pose here, shoulders away from ears, testing into the balance. Going to exhale as I tap the right foot to the ground. Inhale, back to table. Exhale, left foot taps to the ground. Inhale, back to table. So slow, single leg taps here in our V-sit. Even though we're extending the arms, we're keeping the shoulders soft and away from the ears. Make space. One more time here. I tap the left foot down. Now delicately lower both feet. Then lower the heels, bring the body up as we straighten the legs, reach the arms up to the ceiling, find that lift, that length, big shoulder circle here as we bring the hands down onto the ground behind us, fingers are pointing towards the toes, and then peel your way up, exhale, find a reverse high plank, lift the hips, inhale, control, tap your bottom onto the mat. We go again, exhale, lift the hips, pull up through the thighs, open the chest, inhale with control, scoop the belly in, bottom taps the floor. One more time, exhale, lift, take the hips up, open the chest, feel that space through the front of the body and control as the bottom comes down. As it does, interlace the hands behind you, extend those arms, open the chest, let's hinge forwards from the hips, finding a seated forward fold, if that's there for you today, as the arms reach up towards the ceiling. If you can't hold your hands together, you could hold onto a strap or even a jumper. You could improvise with the prop that you're using. 
Let's peel ourselves all the way up. Take the hands behind you and then slide one leg open. We're going to turn now to face the long side of the mat into a straddle position. Use your hands to get right up on top of the sit bones here. Once the legs are lovely and long, let's inhale. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. Interlace the hands and bring them behind the head. Try and find that space in the back a waist crunch now exhale as you bring right elbow down towards the ground come up through center and take it the other way so we're doing a little waist crunch try not to go forwards or backwards here think imagine you've got a wall in front of you and a wall behind you and you can literally only go side to side doing your best to keep the legs as straight as you can. So we're working on opening up through the inner thighs and stretching out through those hamstrings at the same time. Let's do this one more time here. Last one. Pause as you come into center. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up and exhale as we bring the arms down. Lovely, I'm gonna sweep my right leg round to meet my left now, but then I'm gonna bend underneath leg, come onto the right hip, prepare for a half side plank. Once you're here with me, exhale, the left arm sweeps up as we reach up to the ceiling, press the hips forwards in this half side plank, now gently bringing your hip back down towards the ground, but let's not stay there too long. Coming all the way back up into our half side plank. Exhale, lifts. Inhale, smoothly lowering down. So the top leg straight, underneath leg is bent, the thighs are together. We're pressing away from that underneath hands and we're opening through the chest, the hips, the front of the body. Beautiful and slow. Next time we come into that half side plank, can you pause there with me? So I'm gonna pause here. Exhaling now as I lift the underneath leg to tap the top, so the thighs are coming together. Inhale as I drop the knee, twice more. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, lowering down. One more time, exhale, lift and inhale lower good job let's push off this right hand now as we come up into a side candlestick right arm comes onto the diagonal left arm reaches down the left leg i side bend here coming over and then ease away side crunch going over that leg and then easing away. Keep pressing the hips forwards. Try and keep the arms on the diagonal and open through the chest. Last one here, last one. Now we're gonna windmill all the way over, pivoting on the right knee. So you're coming onto your hands, your right leg, left leg is straight. From here, gonna lower down to the right forearm. So the hands are together and then lift the left leg up straight to the ceiling. Then let's tap the left leg down. Here we go. Exhale, left leg lifts. Inhale, left leg lowers. So we're doing some lovely glute work now, making sure you're engaging through the abdominals to protect the lower back. Make sure the lower back's not collapsing. Shifting your weight forwards over that right forearm and grounding down strong through the left hand. Let's now lift that left leg up, but don't go too high. Turn the knee to face the mat and then bend the left knee. We're going to pulse the left leg up, up. Tiny little kick ups here. The toes going up towards the ceiling. Keep the knee facing down to the ground. Isolate into the glutes and the back of the thighs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, now straighten that leg. We're gonna flex the foot, step down onto the mats, press up onto your right hand, and then step the right leg back too. We're now in a high plank here, lengthen through, crown of the head's coming forwards, engage through the tummy. We're going to do some twisted leg pulls. One leg lifts, bring the knee to the opposite elbow, extend that leg back step it down and switch so I lift bring the knee across to the opposite elbow extend it back and step it down so lift twist extend 
and lower. Lift, twist, extend and lower. One more each way. Try to make sure the neck doesn't collapse. Keep shifting the weight forward so the shoulders are over the wrists and engage through the abdominals to protect the back. Let's leave the feet down, lower to both knees, uncurl the toes and control as you bring your chest all the way down onto the ground. Lovely. From here, let's bring your feet together. Arms down by your sides. Palms of the hands are on the mat. We're going to exhale as we lift up. Back extension. Lift both legs and the chest. Keep the feet glued together. Now bend your knees. Bring the heels in towards the bottom. Extend the legs away from you. And then lower down onto the mat. Here we go. Exhale. Lift the chest and both legs. Feet are touching. Bend the knees, bring the heels into the bum, extend the legs away, keep the knees lifted and lower down to the ground. Exhale, lift up. <sighs> bring the heels in, keep the chest lifted, extend the legs away, keep the knees up and lower down to the mat. One more time. Exhale, lift. Keep length through the neck, palms of the hands on the ground, extend the legs and lower. Well done. Let's slowly slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale as you lift the chest up. Find a lovely little stretch space through the front of the body. And then exhale, lead to the bottom, finding a child's pose. Take the bottom back. Give yourself opportunity to let the forehead come down towards the ground and to extend those arms forwards. Take a beautiful breath in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. When you're ready, let's slowly slide the hands in. So I'm sitting on my heels. I'm gonna bring the hands onto the thighs. A little cat and cow here to release. Exhale, curve. Inhale as we open. So nice and mobile. Exhaling as you tuck the tailbone under. Inhaling as you press the hips and the chest forwards. One more time here. Exhale, release, round it off. Inhale as you find that space. Reset, shoulders over hips. Inhale, reach the arms up as we lift the hips. Press the hips forwards as we take the arms up to the ceiling. And then bring the hands down as you turn your body to face the long side of the mat. So we're preparing for our side sequence on the other side. So I'm going to straighten my top leg. My left hand's on the floor now. And then we sweep the right arm up into that half side plank. Then if you remember, we're going to lower the hips slightly. Don't stay down too long. Exhale, sweep all the way back up into the half side plank. So we're starting our side sequence on the other side, making sure the top leg is straight. The thighs are together. We're sinking, but keeping the chest and the hips open and then pressing away, feeling that lift and that strength. Now let's come up into that half side plank and hold underneath leg exhale thighs together inhale lower so we're trying to squeeze those thighs together and then controlling as we lower the knee down do your best that's all you can do i know it's quite challenging one more time here exhale up and inhale lower now push off that left hand let's come up onto our kneeling candlestick variation diagonal with the arms reaching down the right leg and then easing away. So working into the side body, into the obliques, but feeling that space, that length that we try and create in our Pilates class the whole time as well. Extending over and then easing away. One more here, lovely big sweep. Now those windmill arms, bring the arms all the way up and over as you pivot on the left knee. We're going to bring the left forearm down to the ground now as we sweep the right leg up and then inhale as we lower. So exhale, right leg lifts, inhale as we lower. So the left forearm's on the ground, the right hand is down, hands are together. Shift your weight forwards, head in front of those arms. Engage through the tummy, protect the back, and really pull up through that thigh. Keep the leg as straight as you can at the moment. 
On your next one, we're going to lift and hold. Then we turn the knee to face the ground as we bend that right leg. Those little kick-ups, pump, pump, pump. So the hips are facing the floor, as is the chest. The toes are pushing up to the ceiling, pulse and pulse. You squeeze that bottom, engage the back of the thigh for six, five, four, three, two. Now straightening that leg, flex the foot so the ball can come down. Push up onto the left hand and then we step back into our high plank once again. Lengthen that spine. So now we're not going to twist, leg pull straight. So I bring knee to chest and then step back to high plank. Other knee comes into the chest and then I extend back nice and slow. Really pressing away from the hands. Try not to collapse into the shoulders. Lift the thigh up away from the ground. And when you step it back, really try and find that length through the spine. Let's do this three more times. Use that exhale every time you draw the knee in. Inhale as you reset. Exhale in. And then pause and hold. Okay, from here, lift those hips up. A little pike press here as you let the heels fall heavy to the ground. Ease the chest through. Feel that space through the spine here as we open up. Lovely big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then carefully, slowly, let's walk the hands all the way in towards the feet. So we're in a standing forward fold. Take a big exhale as you allow yourself, give yourself permission to go deeper here into this fold. Bend the knees, chin on the chest. We roll up ever so slowly, rebuilding, restacking. Inhale as you sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Find that big lift. Find a rise as we lift both heels and then turn around on your rise so you've got the mat length behind you. Now step the feet together, chair squats in a rise. So we're gonna keep the heels lifted, bend the knees together, take the hips all the way back as much as you can, keeping the chest lifted, and then press off the feet, come back up into that rise. Here we go again, toes are together, heels are lifted, bend the knees, shift the weight back into your imaginary chair, squeeze those knees together, lengthen the spine, and then press off the balls of the feet as you come back up. One more time, hips go back, lengthen the spine, squeeze the belly in, feel into all of those wobbles, and then push back off, find that lovely rise, take the feet to hip distance, lower the heels down, and exhale, Pilates, roll down. Arms lead, chin to chest, curve the spine, fold yourself all the way over, and then generously bend the knees so you can come onto your bottoms, once you are there on your bottoms, make sure the feet are flat, knees are parallel, and roll yourself all the way down onto your backs. Once you get there, hands down by your side, head rested onto the mat. Let's bridge here. I'm going to exhale as I lift the right leg up, press into a single leg bridge, so I'm pushing off my left foot. And then as the hips come down, so does my right foot and I change sides. Exhale, left leg lifts up as I push single leg bridge. Inhale, the bottom comes down with the left foot. So I'm alternating which leg is lifting into a single bridge here. Making sure we're pressing the shoulders into the ground so we really open, peel back the posture doing your best using your exhale so that you can release the hamstring, make sure that we're not getting cramp here through the back of the thigh. Let's see if we can do one more here, one last single leg bridge, and then pause as you come down to the bottom. Well done, hug those knees into the chest, press your back into the ground. Take a moment here, maybe rocking the lower back side to side. Take a moment to massage out through the lower back. When you are ready to join me, chin to the chest, find an abdominal crunch, but bring yourself into a tiny little ball here. So I'm hugging myself in as close as possible. Now what we're gonna do is exhale, extend right arm, right leg only. Inhale, come back into your tiny ball, and then extend left arm, left leg only. 
come back into the ball. So I'm staying in that abdominal crunch the whole time and then extending one leg to a hover. So it just comes off the ground and reaching the arm over, same arm, same leg, to reach my ears. I'm finding that space, starting to switch on those abdominals. Let's do this last time and then pause here. Can you now extend both arms, both legs? Come back into that tiny crunch. Both arms, both legs, extend, scoop and hollow. Coming back in, if this is too much, single arm, single leg, absolutely fine. Squeezing, engaging, bringing everything in. Now find that extension and hold, interlace the hands, hands behind the head. Now double legs sweep up as you do, the head's going down. And then as I double leg lower, come back into that ab crunch. Again, the legs lift up as the head goes down. The head comes up as the legs go down. So a lovely little abdominal sequence here, lowering and lifting, crunching and releasing. Using the exhale, taking your time. On your next one, can you find that hold? Lower the legs, lift the head, pause here, crisscross the feet, over, under, over, under. So I'm staying in that ab hold, extending those legs away and crisscrossing my feet for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in, give yourself that big hug, come into that tiny little ball once again, and then slowly bring the feet down, bring the head down. Let's take a lovely window wiper as we gently rock those knees side to side, get some soft, delicate movement into the back, and just get yourself used to being here on the ground. Well done. Okay. Slowly bring the legs into center whenever you're ready. Let the feet relax. Please make sure your back is comfortable. Take a moment to turn the head side to side. So just roll the back of the head side to side. Take a moment here to make sure the neck, the shoulders are feeling okay. And then gently, whenever you're ready, extending both arms, both legs. Find a wonderful full body stretch here. Make yourself really tall, make lots of lovely space. And then exhale, we roll up, leading with the arms, chin to the chest, scoop the belly in, bring yourself up and then bend those knees. We're kind of back where we started. Inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Lovely big circle as you bring the hands down on the ground behind you. Think figure four, I'm gonna take my right foot on top of the left thigh, and then slowly use your hands to press the chest forwards so that we're not collapsing into those arms. And try to ease that right knee away from you. So a moment here to stretch out through the glutes, through the hips to find the length through the spine. And then if you can, just straighten that left leg as we come up onto the fingertips and leave the hands behind you, but just start to fold the body forwards, going a bit deeper into this wonderful figure four stretch, being kind to yourself, easing yourself over, and then lifting the chest up, bending the left leg, taking the right foot off when you're ready. Let's do the other side. Left foot's going onto the right thigh, using those hands, ground down, press the chest open. Keep easing that left knee away from you, sending all of your breath into that left hip space, into the glute, the outer thigh, possibly into the lower back. And then if it's available for you, straightening the right leg, coming onto your fingertips, starting to hinge forwards, maybe needing to adjust the leg a little bit. Absolutely fine to fidget, to modify. Always encourage you to listen to your body on the mats. Just slowing things down a little bit now. And then slowly lifting the chest up, bending the right knee and bringing the left leg off as well. Let's take our way over onto our bottoms, finding a cross-legged seated position if that feels okay for you. Inhaling as you reach the arms up towards the ceiling, find this wonderful lift. Interlace the hands, grow even taller, taking a soft side bend up and over to the right hand side, breathing into the left rib space. 
and then sweep through center, grow taller. Take it over to the left hand side. Keep the glutes down, feel that space through the rib cage. Coming back through to center, interlace the hands, keep them behind the head now. Now carefully isolate into the neck, so bring the chin to the chest, keeping that length through the spine here. Try to make space between the shoulders and the ears. Now keep the hands here, curve into the C shape, so rounding the back now so the chin can go to the chest and you feel that curve through the spine as you round onto that tailbone as well. Take a breath into the back chain of the body. Really feel that space, that stretch, that opening. Then unravel, restack your vertebrae block by block. Shoulders, head comes up last. Inhale, reach even taller. Root down through the sit bones, but rise up through to the fingers. And then exhale as you sweep the arms all the way down. You did it, team. Thank you so much for joining me for that ultimate Pilates plan. Please remember, come and have a look at our Black Friday sale and join me on the mat for more live, on-demand, exclusive practices over on my membership platform. I'll see you on the mat again soon.